Hi, Xavier fans. This is Drew Dunlay. I'm here with women's basketball assistant coach Brian Neal, and we're going to preview this weekend's game against the Duquesne Dukes. Coach Neal, you're kicking off A-10 play against Duquesne. How was the non-conference schedule? Uh, how was it in preparing your team for the conference schedule? Well, it was tremendous. We, uh, of course, Xavier always plays a strong non-conference schedule. We played our Dukes and Michigans and Indianas and people like that, Virginia. And then we played a strong uh, mid-majors as well. And so we've seen a lot of styles of play. We've seen zones. We've seen man-to-mans, all, all the presses as you can see. We've seen six of the top 30 scores in the country so far in our game so far. So w we're prepared. There's really nothing that the Atlantic 10 can throw at us. Now I think what it's going to come down to, you know, for these remaining games is kind of one, two, you know, who wants to play, who's ready to go, and execution. And uh, so I think the conference did a or the non-conference did a great job getting us ready. Duquesne has one player that leads them in several st statistical categories. What sort of problems does that present for your team? Well, um, Wumi is a she's, – she's probably the one you're talking about. She leads them in scoring and rebounding, and she's a tremendous player. But they're much more balanced than maybe their stat sheet shows. They have five kids, all their starters average between 8 and 12 points. Um, and I, I think where um, it's not so much their scoring, uh, Duquesne is a little underrated with their defense. And they're one of the top defensive teams uh, in, the, in the country, but also especially the Atlantic 10. And, you know, they, they lead the league in scoring defense, points allowed, and they're up there in uh, field goal percent, and they, they take the ball from you. So you, you've got to take care of the ball against them. Jocelyn Floyd, they're, uh, one of their guards, is, leads the nation in, in steals. So it's definitely a player and a, a team you've got to be ready for uh, from on their defensive end. The team hasn't played since January 5th. Do you feel the long layover is good in preparing for the conference schedule, or what are your thoughts on that? Well, we had a big stretch of games where we, we, we were firing off the games real quick, and, and, and then we needed to take some time to focus on Xavier. So we haven't necessarily focused on just Duquesne for the past week, but we've had two games in two weeks, and we spent a lot of time, and I think it's really paying off. We probably had the uh, best practices stretched down over the last few days, so that, that's good. Um, and so I think it was good for us to kind of get back to basics. We've tightened up some things on both ends of the floor, and hopefully that'll pay off in the games. Who's playing well right now for the Musketeers? Well, uh, you know, we, in practice, our freshmen have really come on here over the last few weeks, and so that, especially the last three or four days. So that's encouraged Brie Glover, uh, Aaliyah Zant, uh, you know, um, Jenna Critton has been coming on over the last couple of weeks. And then Ty O'Neill, who is a transfer but sat out last year, I think she's starting to get more comfortable. So our younger kids are, are getting in there, and it's important um, to have them do that. But I think those are the kids in practice who have really started to blossom, and now we've got to get them to carry that over this blue line when we play on Sunday. This is going to be the 15th game of the season. How do you feel the first half of the season went for the Musketeers? Well, it's been a, uh, it's been a roller coaster. And, you know, we're, we're trying to establish – a program and, and building not from ground up but we're, we're building a program and it doesn't happen overnight so we've had some days we've played really well we've had days where we haven't and uh, and that's the process as soon as you think that you're going to skip a stage in the development you kind of get smacked in the mouth and you, you take a step back and then you got to regroup and we've done that and you know we've we've lost to here a couple here lately that we we would have liked to one but overall you know we're on the right track if you look at the big picture we're, we're progressing and you know now we've got to take that to the a10 and, and hopefully have a strong finish to the season. Okay, Coach Neal, thank you for your time, and good luck on Sunday. You're welcome. Thanks very much.